This is Story Recapped. Today, I'm going to explain a fantasy, romance, sci-fi film called Upside Down. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Adam Kirk lives in a unique solar system with twin planets that have double gravity. The twin planets orbit the sun closely together but have opposing gravities. The laws of double gravity make it difficult for people from other planets to interact with each other. Every single object can only be pulled by gravity from the planet of its origin. People can work around this problem by offsetting an object's weight with an inverse matter, a material from the opposite world. However, the object burns after a few hours of contact with the inverse matter. Adam notes that these natural laws are unchangeable, but he believes that love can overcome gravity. Apart from the natural laws, there are ordinances that forbid contact between inhabitants from two opposing planets. The planet up top has become prosperous, but the world down below had plunged into poverty. People from down below have to steal inverse matter from up top at the risk of their lives just to heat their homes. The only way people from opposite worlds can interact with each other was through Trans World, a corporation created by entrepreneurs up top to extract oil from down below. Adam grew up in an orphanage on down below after his parents died in a refinery explosion that destroyed most of the city. His only surviving relative is Aunt Becky, who has been preparing to teach him a secret knowledge his family has been keeping over generations. To prepare Adam's favorite flying pancakes, Becky often sent him to the Sage Mountains to gather pink pollen, which is produced by pink bees that fed off flowers from both planets. When Adam asks how she makes the pancakes fly, Becky notes that it's all in her book. Becky would have passed down the book to Adam's mother, but she promises to give it to him someday since his mom is gone. One day, Adam climbed up on the mountain to gather rain from up top. Afterward, he tossed a paper plane that made its way to Eden Moore, who lives on the opposite planet. Adam calls Eden's attention when she picks up the plane. Adam and Eden become friends and start meeting regularly on the mountaintop of the two opposite planets. One day, Eden arrives late because her neighbor was robbed. She notes that the armed hunters and border guards are on the hunt for a thief from down below. Not long after, Adam throws a rope over to Eden's side so he can pull her down. The couple spends time making out below a rock formation. Afterward, Adam lets Eden ride on his shoulders so they can both explore the forest of down below. The couple appears to bounce when Adam hops due to the gravity pulling Eden to her planet. However, their joyous trek comes to an end when they hear a gunshot in the distance. Adam takes Eden back to the mountaintop as the border guards search the woods for the thief. When the guards see Adam helping Eden get back to her side, they shoot at him. When Adam gets hit in the arm, he drops the rope, causing Eden to fall. Blood seeps out of Eden's head as she lies unconscious on the ground. That night, the authorities arrest Becky and burn her house to the ground. With Becky gone, Adam acquires her book that contains the secrets their family learned about the pink pollen. A decade passes, and he uses this knowledge to develop an anti-aging cream. When he tries the cream on synthetic skin, the effect only lasts for a few seconds. His employer, Albert, tells him to finish the formula soon because people are already interested, but Adam notes that it could still take years due to the lack of proper equipment. When his coworker Pablo turns on the TV, Adam sees Eden on a game show that offers contestants a chance to work at Transworld. Adam learns that Eden works as a graphics designer at the company, so he decides to apply there. Soon, Adam gets assigned to Floor Zero, where employees from up top and down below interact at a limited capacity. Upon reaching his cubicle, he sees a beverage with a note that welcomes him to the company. Other employees burst into laughter after the beverage sprays into his face when he opens it. Bob Barokowitz, an employee from up top informs him that their co-workers do the same thing to all newbies. Not long after, Lagavulin, managing director calls Adam to his office to tell him that his application has been approved because the company thinks that his anti-aging cream has potential. Lagavulin notes that Adam will hold an important position, which is rare for someone from down below. Before concluding the meeting, Lagavulin warns Adam against unnecessary contact with employees from up top. He also won't be allowed to leave the building with upper world materials and will be fired and arrested on the spot if they find him leaving with an inverse matter. That night, Albert castigates Adam for his decision to develop the anti-aging cream for Transworld. He contends that he could have given Adam the patent to the formula and warns him that the company will just exploit him. However, Adam fears that they won't ever escape from poverty if he doesn't work there. Albert then reminds him that he gave Adam everything and he treated him like his own son. He fears that Adam will get himself killed if he continues working for Transworld. Adam stresses that he hasn't forgotten that Transworld took away his family, but working there gives him hope to improve his life. He begs Albert to help him, so Albert vows to continue to support him. 
On Uptop, Eden attends a support group meeting about her accident. She has forgotten everything that happened before her accident, but some of her memories come back to her in her dreams. She's frustrated because she can't tell whether they're real or not. Eden tells the support group that she knows that her memories are still there, but she's afraid of them. When Adam returns to work, he gets his first supply of inverse matter. During lunchtime, Bob asks Eden to obtain some stamps from down below to add them to his collection. He offers to help Adam with anything that he needs, so Adam asks Bob to contact Eden. As Adam acquires more inverse matter, he hides some of it in a vent in the utility room. After giving Bob some stamps, Adam asks for his help to get him a nice suit for his meeting with Eden. One night, Adam uses Bob's phone to contact Eden after all the employees leave. Adam isn't able to speak with her, but Eden's co-worker Paula tells him that he can meet at their office the next day. When Paula asks for his name, he introduces himself as Bob Borokowitz. Later, Albert gives Adam a vest to hold the inverse matter to offset his weight when he meets Eden on up top. He warns him that the inverse matter will burn the vest, so he advises him to sprinkle it with water to cool it down. Pablo tries to change Adam's mind about the meeting because he fears that Adam might get caught. Pablo's brother tried to do the same thing, but he never returned from up top. On the day of the meeting, Adam takes the inverse matter he hid in the vent and puts it on his vest. After wearing his suit, he gets in front of the mirror to practice what he'll say to Eden, but somebody arrives, so he runs out of the utility room. Soon, Adam reaches Eden's floor and sees her working on a model of a building. Adam calls her attention, but Eden doesn't remember him. When Adam expresses his disappointment that Eden didn't recognize him, Paula explains that Eden suffered amnesia because of her accident. Adam tells Eden that he's there to demonstrate a new product to her. He then applies several drops of his formula on the model of her building, which is slightly leaning. As he waits for the formula to take effect, Adam tells her about the details of his life to see if it triggers a memory. Eden, however, doesn't remember anything. When the formula takes effect, Eden is amazed to see that her building model is no longer leaning. Soon, Adam feels his jacket burning due to the inverse matter, so he runs to the bathroom to cool it down with water. When he takes a leak, his urine rises to the ceiling that triggers an alarm, so he escapes back to his side. The following day, Bob gets fired for an unknown reason. After office hours, Bob leaves some of his office supplies, including his security pass, to Adam. Later, Eden contacts Adam through Bob's phone and invites him to have lunch with her the next day at Cafe Dos Mundos. Adam goes to Uptop during the lunch hour the following day and exits the Transworld building using Bob's security pass. On his way to the cafe, Adam marvels at the exquisite buildings and other structures that are absent in his home world. During his date with Eden, Adam discloses that they knew each other before her accident, but Eden gets upset before he can tell her who he is. Eden tries to leave the restaurant, but Adam pleads with her to stay. Adam drops his attempts to make her remember him so that he can spend more time with her. Later, Eden shares that she's doing a project on the Sage Mountains, and she wants to use his formula to build a large-scale model. When Adam reveals that he used to go to the Sage Mountains to pick pomegranates, Eden notes that she used to do the same. Not long after, Adam's shoes start to burn due to the heat from the inverse matter, so they leave the restaurant. Eden asks him to meet her at the restaurant again for dinner on Friday. As soon as Eden leaves, Adam runs and jumps to the river. He then leaves the inverse matter behind so that the gravity drags him back to down below. Adam shivers from the cold even after he gets home, but he's happy to have spent some time with Eden. When Eden goes to sleep that night, she hears Adam's voice in her dream. Adam returns to work the next day to demonstrate his anti-aging cream in a lecture hall. During the demonstration, Eden enters and discovers that Adam is from down below. Eden then grabs the mic in the hall to ask Adam if his name is Bob. Since Legavulin and his other superiors are present, Adam has no choice but to tell her his real name. Eden gets upset and runs out of the lecture hall. Not long after, Adam runs to the utility room and puts on his suit with inverse matter so that he can go to up top to find Eden. Soon, Adam reaches her floor but a coworker tells him that she just left. When he sees her leaving the Transworld building, he uses Bob's security pass, but it no longer works, so he jumps over the turnstile to run after her. The police begin to chase Adam, so he hides inside a building. He then goes on a rooftop and waits until it gets dark. Meanwhile, Eden finally remembers the day that she met Adam. She refused to talk to him at the time because he was from down below, but he insisted on introducing himself. Later, Adam goes to Bob's house to hide from the authorities. Bob reveals that he created a vest to counteract the inverse matter's heating. He also is trying to find a way to change the gravity's status, but he finds it impossible. Adam, however, discloses that they only need to mix opposing solutions from both worlds to create a liquid that can stay afloat between the two gravitational fields. When Bob asks if he gave the formula to Transworld, Adam reveals that he didn't give them the main ingredient. In Transworld, 
Ligavulin learns that they don't have the whole formula for the anti-aging cream. An employee informs him that they tried to recreate the compound, but they're missing an ingredient. Ligavulin instructs the employee to find Adam before the police catch him. That night, Adam goes to Café Dos Mundos and finds Eden standing by the window. When he approaches her, he realizes that she remembers everything about him. Adam and Eden embrace each other and kiss and make up for their lost time. However, border police soon arrive, so Adam runs to the emergency exit and jumps on top of a cable car to escape. A few hours later, Adam and Eden meet in the Sage Mountains and spend the whole night together at their secret spot below the rock formation. As the sun rises, the couple leaves the secret spot only to find that the police are in the forest looking for them. Adam strips off the inverse matter in his clothes and floats with Eden to the dilapidated airship down below. As the police shoot at them, they jump to stone platforms inside the ship to avoid their bullets. However, the platform drops to its side when a cop hits a rope that's holding it up. Eden grabs a chain while holding Adam's hand, but Adam decides to let go when he realizes that Eden can't bear his weight for too long. Eden cries in despair as Adam plunges back to his world. Not long after, the police take Eden into custody. Adam finds himself on a tree branch when he regains consciousness. While taking a walk one day, Adam gets abducted by goons from Transworld. They compel him to give him the complete formula to the anti-aging cream, threatening to reinstate the charges against Eden if he attempts to contact her again. Adam soon falls into depression, thinking he'd never see Eden again. Meanwhile, Bob continues working on a formula that will allow humans to traverse both worlds without the need for inverse matter. Days after Eden's arrest, she contacts Bob and asks him for help. Soon, Bob turns up in Albert's shop and shows Adam that he can stay in the opposite world without an inverse matter vest. Bob created a formula that combines with the water inside the human body to allow him to walk upright on both planets. He notes that the effect only lasts an hour, but he intends to improve it. Then, Bob tells him that he needs to meet with Eden at Café Dos Mundos. Before Adam could run off, Bob reveals that he beat Transworld in patenting Adam's anti-aging cream for Albert's company. Soon, Adam meets Eden in the cafe and down below. When he asks how she got down to his side, Eden tells him that Bob made it happen. Eden then discloses that she's pregnant with twins. Eden might be able to stay down below forever because of her pregnancy. Adam notes that their love for each other has changed the course of history. After some time, skyscrapers appear down below to match buildings up top, and as both sides become prosperous, there are no more laws to prevent people from the two opposite worlds from interacting and falling in love with each other. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.